everyone! It's been a while since I've posted a speed paint video, so I thought I'd share this one of your from Spy Family. So starting off with a sketch, I thought I'd go with the classic three-quarter head turn pose, but not sure why I scrapped that and decided to go with front facing instead. I don't know if any of you artists out there find yourself in phases where you can only draw a certain pose. Like sometimes I can only draw three-quarter head, other times I can only do portrait, and then other times I can only do profile. And if I'm trying to do something different from whichever phase I'm in, I struggle so much. Like how I struggle with anatomy, as you can see. <laughs> I don't know, I try different methods like drawing boxes for body parts such as the torso and hips uh, to see if I can get the general idea of a pose. And sometimes I'll do the same when I try to figure out hands, where I think of the palm as like a slice of bread. <laughs> But I do like how this pose turned out. I was pretty satisfied with changing how her one arm was folded so it didn't look like she had a stomach ache or something. Uh, and then I thought it'd be nice to have these sides of her hair all flowy even though it doesn't really make any sense. Uh, I'd love to one day master that drawing trope where hair is flying all over the place as if the character has like three fans blowing at them. <laughs> Uh, but getting into line art, where I resolve a lot of the weird looking bits in my sketch, I fix the length of some of her limbs, actually draw fingers, uh, which I did reference official your artwork for that hand up front. Life hack. <laughs> I just mirrored it and drew what I saw. You know, with art, not everything is pure invention. We learn from others, see what works for them, and then make adjustments here and there to make it our own. Uh, since I feel like I'm still uh, in the beginnings of my art journey, I think it's so much pressure on myself to say, oh, just draw something. Uh, so I do spend a lot of time looking at other artists' work, real life poses, all sorts of things, just so I could figure out how to draw what it is I have in my head. Uh, if only I could directly transfer what's in my brain to my hand, uh, but all that takes practice and I've got a long way to go. So just finishing up the line art portion before starting on the coloring. I'm always intimidated with starting color, but even more so when it's a lot of black. Because in my head I'm thinking, how do I render various shades of black so it stands out from each other? Like yours hair, her dress, her gloves, her thigh-high boots lots of black. <laughs> uh, same thing with trying to figure out how to render white, uh, like using various shades of light blue, purple, etc. Uh, so another thing I do want to try to get myself accustomed to is being a bit looser with going around the color wheel and using different colors to render rather than, for example, just black, dark gray, light gray, etc. A lot of artists out there are so good at this where they choose a variety of colors that when you zoom in, you see a rainbow, <laughs> but then you zoom out and it's just light blue or it gives the perception of light blue or something. I don't know if that makes any sense, but hopefully you know what I mean. I did airbrush a bit of dark red on her dress, which you can probably not even tell. <laughs> I think this ties in with, uh, you know, just having fun with colors and playing with lighting and all this stuff intimidates me uh, but once I get going and then it begins to feel like it's working out somehow, I end up having fun which I think this is looking okay so far and uh, the clothing wrinkles can always use work <laughs> And I don't know if you noticed, but whenever I render gold, I pretty much use the same four colors. I forget how I arrived at those colors, but it was most definitely during a Genshin art piece because goodness knows that they wear so much metal and armor. <laughs> but these four have become my go-to. The middle color would be my base, throw on a couple darker streaks, and then a thin adjacent highlight here and there. Simple, but it's been effective for me. But anyways, briefly talking about Spy Family, I assumed majority of you who are watching this have watched the anime from this past season. Because if you don't read it, you must have definitely watched it. But hopefully you do both! <laughs> I had started reading the Spy Family manga a while ago, and seeing it animated by two amazing studios was such a treat. I'm so excited for the second core, which I think comes out or gets released in October? We're almost done here. I thought maybe I had finished, but decided to add some quick blood smears in contrast to her kind of gentle smile. <laughs> I was trying to see which brush I wanted to use, and I think I ended up using some type of dry brush. Uh, nothing fancy, and no fancy blending either. I thought Yor needed uh, a bit more of something. 
and I wanted to do some more basic things like I added a pinkish rim light from the left and used the classic multiply trick for the instant dramatic lighting. <laughs> And then I put a drop shadow on your for an easy detail, and we're done. I really love how she turned out. Somehow, everything that I did, it worked. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed hanging out with me while the Your Illustration sped along. I'd appreciate it if you like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in my next video. Take care.